Hi, my name is Robbie O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars. I just finished a restoration of an 1890 Martin Parlor guitar. I wanted to share it with you. This is a size O, model number 27. It comes with ivory bindings, ivory rosette, part of the rosette is ivory in the rings there, ivory bridge pins, ivory nut, ivory saddle, ivory knobs, a lot of ivory on this baby. The back and sides are Brazilian rosewood, very nice set, quarter saw. Of course, you could get very nice sets of quarter saw back then. And uh, ivory heel cap as well, mahogany neck, mahogany braces on the inside, and uh, very nicely done. Ebony bridge, ebony fretboard. Uh, this little guitar actually came in on live support. It uh, had seen some serious action over the years. It was unplayable. The X brace was actually broken all the way through. It was strung up with heavy gauge steel strings, and this guitar was made for gut back in the day, in 1890. These days we string them with silk and steel, which is a lot lower tension string. It's a finger styles uh, dream to play this guitar. Very, very wide spacing, spacing that you don't see today on steel string guitars, both at the nut and at the saddle, and uh, just a, a real dream to play. Uh, like I said, it came in on live support, though. I had to remove the back, had to be very careful with the ivory bindings, remove the back, got inside. The top had a lot of cracking all over the, uh, the top, um, and so all the cracks have been repaired. The sides had a lot of cracking in them as well, so uh, those are all been repaired. The back was actually in pretty good condition. Uh, it came off, though, uh, did some repairing, a couple of minor cracks on the back. Everything's been put back together now. And I just wanted to show you what this little thing sounds like. Man, this is an incredibly light guitar. Uh, the back is 1.9 millimeters thick. The sides are 1.5. The top is under two in some areas. Uh, but it's, it's just very, very open. I mean, it's been around since 1890. Uh, a very, very uh, nice sounding guitar. forever. Plenty of sustain, lots of color to the notes, everyone's crystal clear, lots of lower end bass. Uh, just a beautiful guitar.
So as you can tell, this is a very nice sounding guitar. Very, very, uh, plays very well, sounds nice, sustains nice, and uh, the, the spruce top is <laughs> very well broken in. Love the sound of this thing, and it's just a dream to play. So uh, I thought I'd share it with you. Happy building.